then we will finish it off with the roller set and a three ponytail updo. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I will start by showing you how to part the hair. Okay, so we're going to start with a rat tail comb. You should have a rat tail comb in your kit. And we're going to start by taking your rat tail comb, putting it on the crown of the head. And you're going to part wherever the comb leaves the head. So the comb leaves the head right about there. And that is as wide as the teeth of this rat tail and over to the other side. So I'm going to part back using my rat tail comb just right at the scalp going back and then I'm going to go back to the other side and wherever the teeth leave the, the comb I'm going to part back from that and so now I have two side parts here on the crown of the head now I'm going to put my comb on the top of the head starting from the hairline back wherever the comb leaves the head, which is right about there. I'm gonna take that and part that off. This on top is the crown of the head. And that's what we're gonna to use to work on your hat weave. This is what we're gonna put in a hat weave. The rest of it, you're gonna just take the rest of the hair. And all I did was just comb this straight back and get all of this hair out of the way because you don't want this hair to get involved with that top hair. And I just put a hair band around it, just a little rubber band around it and got that out of the way, okay? Now I'm gonna drop this down, the crown where we've parted, where we've sectioned. Again, wherever we sectioned, I'm gonna drop this down and I'm gonna make a center part. Center part. I'm gonna have half on one side, half on the other. Okay. Now, the trick of this is, is that you have to have a lot of water. So you wanna make sure that your hair on your mannequin is nice and moist, lots of water. And then on the other side as well. Okay. With that center part, you're gonna to go to the corner of the eyebrow and you're gonna go straight up from there. And you're gonna make a little V section on the top. And you, how are you, where are you gonna stop that V? You're gonna stop that V right in the middle of this comb, okay? So right in the center of the comb, you're going to stop that V and that we're going to section right there. I'm going to come back to the other side from the corner of that eyebrow straight up where it meets with that V section. Okay. So now we have this V section and we're going to move that out of the way. So this class is the party for the hat weave. All right, we're gonna continue the second part of the hat weave. 
And the second part of the hat weave is that we're going to weave all of this kind of like a basket, kind of a ba like basket weaving. You can see that in this mannequin, okay? And essentially, we'll get all this hair to move to the right and all the hair on the left side to come over to the right side, all right? Whoops, there goes my mannequin, sorry. I'm gonna put her on this tripod. Okay, there she is. Get her out of the way. All right. Now, again, make sure that you have a lot of water on your mannequin. Okay, I'm going to use some gel. And the gel that I'm going to use is just kind of a gel like looking gel you can go actually to the dollar store and get a little tub of this gel for exactly a dollar okay it's just kind of a gooey gel it's a little thicker gel and i'm just going to apply that all through the hair i'm going to start by applying it on the right side first and then we'll do it on the left side so that it doesn't um, dry when we get to the other side now, I can turn my mannequin so you can see what I'm doing. Let me get this a little closer. You're going to first, and you also need, sorry, you need one clippy, one metal clippy. So you need to get one metal clippy from the kit that we gave you. And you're gonna start by doing a vertical section, slice down from the, parting so that from the center part to the bottom of where this section ends. So from the bottom down, that's a vertical parting. Then you're going to cut this in half in a horizontal parting. You have two strands and you pretty much when you slice this in half, you want to slice it, okay, in half where they're equal parts. You're going to take the top one down and you're going to take the, let, the bottom side that's on the bottom, you're gonna take that over and you're gonna pin it. Okay. Now we're gonna continue. And we're gonna continue the same way. Vertical section down. Slice that in half. The top one goes down. The bottom one goes over the one, the, the section you just put down. And it goes over that one and under the strand of hair that you had just hanging there. So now you have two strands of hair. Okay, I'm gonna continue the same way. Vertical sections, cut that in half. The top one goes down. The bottom one goes over the section that you just put down. Under the previous section and over the previous section. So now you have three strands. Okay, and we'll continue this until we get to this B section. Straight down, vertical section, cut that in half horizontally. The top one moves down. The bottom goes over that section that you just moved down, over under the previous section over the other section of the piece that you have hanging and under the other piece. And as you can see, it starts to weave like a little basket, okay? Starting to get a little weave there on the hair. A 
again, vertical section. Slice this in half horizontally. The top one moves down. The bottom one goes over that section, under the previous section, over the next section that we just did, and under the previous section as well, and pin it. And we will continue till we get to this piece here. And we wanna make sure that we have plenty of gel and that it is completely wet. This one goes down. That one goes over, under. Do this again. That goes over, under, over, under, over, under, and over. There you go. So now essentially you have these little kind of hanging strings of hair that are hanging all the way through and those eventually will get weaved. Now I'm gonna to move to the front section. I'm gonna drop the front section. Again, the way we parted that section was from the corner of the eyebrow straight back and the corner of the other eyebrow straight back. And then you pointed, you put your, your comb from the hairline back and it's halfway on the teeth of this comb. Now, we want to again make sure that this mannequin is nice and wet and that we have a lot of gel on this mannequin because we're going to move that hair. Eventually, all this hair is going to move over here, and that's what's going to make your hat weave. In order for us to do that, you have to go from a point of origin. So think about this as a semicircle, half a circle, half a pie, if you will. And what you're going to do is you're going to take, we were doing vertical sections before, straight up and down. We're not doing that now. We're gonna take the section, we are gonna go straight up and down, but we gotta take it from a point of origin, a pivot, a point right here. So all the sections that I'm gonna be slicing, I'm gonna go back to that point, okay? And then move it over. So here's my point. I'm going to take that point, vertical section, cut that in half, top one down, Bottom one goes over, under, over, under, over, under, over, and pin it. Okay. Again, I'm going to go back to that point of origin and I'm going to slice it. I'm gonna do a vertical section, then a horizontal section, cut it in half. And again, what you wanna do is make sure too that when you're moving this hair that you have this part right here, nice and smooth. So make sure that is nice and smooth. That goes over, goes under, over, under. As you can see, I'm weaving over that strand of hair, under this strand of hair, over, and pin it, okay? And that's where we continue right here. I'm gonna go back to my point of origin. I'm gonna vertical section straight from that point again. And I'm gonna slice in half horizontally, 
this one goes over, this one goes under, over, over, under, okay, over, under, over, and under. I'm going to pin it. I'm going to go back to that vertical section, back to that point of origin, vertical section. Cut that in half, over, under, over, under. And we continue until we weave through all of these strands. Okay and pin it. And I still have these strands that are going to be hanging that we're going to work with later. This one is already coming off that point of origin. So I don't have to do anything with that except slice it horizontally. The top one goes down. This one goes over. Under, over, under. Over, under. And there we go. So now we've got that hat kind of just curving across and that's what we wanted. Now we're going to go to the left side. So here we're going to move all of this hair from the left to the right. Okay. It's of great importance, class, that you make sure that you wet this hair, especially this left side. Okay, this left side would not work, would not be good if it's not wet. I'm looking for some more gel. I have a little bit here. Make sure I get that gel in there. Evenly distributed. And I'm going to go here to the front of this left side. So I'm going to start vertical section straight up and down. Comb that in half. This is where you might get a little bit like, am I doing it right? And you are. The top one goes down. The left one goes over. You're moving all of this hair over to the other side. It seems like it's a little different to do that, but this is what you need to do. Once you get started with the first strand, you'll see. It goes over that one, under this one, and we weave just like we did before, all through all the little hair strands that are hanging, under, over, under, over, and over. Okay, so there you go. You see how we continue doing that. And we're going to move this again. Cut that in half. The top one goes down. This one goes over, under, over, under, over, under, until the hair disappears, okay? So we continue doing that 
until we get rid of all of this left side, this hair on the left side. So again, vertical sections. Make sure that you comb this nice and smooth at the scalp so you don't get any buckling at the scalp and it's nice and smooth. That goes over that one, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay. So we're almost done with this left side. And you will notice that if you have trouble having this side of the hair reach over to the other side, what you have to do is just use a lot of gel so that you can do that. So it, it kind of glues the hair, okay? Cut that in half, this one goes down, goes over, under, so at some point, you might end up with shorter hair here, like I'm going to with this strand. You'll see. This is only going to reach to about halfway here. And so what we're going to do is we will just take whatever you have of that strand. So it's very thin right there. I'm just going to take that strand and go under and then glue it down like that, okay? Just make sure it's nice and glued like that. All right, we have one less strand to do, one less strand. So we're gonna go here and cut that in half. And this one I think is not gonna be, all, be able to go all the way around since we had trouble with that other piece, but we'll see how far it reaches. Okay. Okay, again, this is only going to reach to there. So I'm going to go under then I'm just going to glue that down with gel, okay? Now we have that. Now we're gonna take all the strands that we have left and we're gonna start at the left side where we just left off and you're gonna take each strand and you're not gonna slice these in half. You're just gonna take them as they are and you're gonna weave in and out until they disappear. Again, make sure that you use a lot of gel because some of these may not reach all the way to the edges, okay? So we want to make sure that we get that all the way through and glue it, okay? So that's all you're going to be doing around and around until you get all of the strands over and under until the hair disappears. So essentially you'll end up with a weave hat, just like this one, okay? So you all understand what you're doing, just taking all of the strands and weaving them in and out, and it forms the hat weave. So you'll just keep going in and out till they disappear. Okay, so what you'll end up with is a hat weave like this, okay? Now, whatever you have left here, okay, you're gonna end up with all the strands, you're gonna end up with all of the little pieces, okay? Right here, and you're gonna have a clip Okay, so you'll have this clip here because all this hair came over here. You're gonna have it clipped. You're gonna take that clip off and you're gonna put a little rubber band. There should be some rubber bands in your kit, 
Okay. Then you're going to take a strand of hair from that little piece of hair that you have left there on the ends. I braided mine. Okay. I braided mine, but you would take a strand of hair and wrap it around the ponytail so that it covers up that little hairband. Now I have a braid on mine, but I'm going to take it off a little bit and I'm going to make another one because it got kind of loose. So I'm just going to make a braid like so. And then I'm going to wrap it around like so and kind of make a little flower. Now, if you have bobby pins, this is a bobby pin. I would fasten this. The ridges go to the scalp. Never put the bobby pins in your mouth. You saw how I just opened it up with my fingernail. And I'm just going to fasten that right there. So that is the way that you finish off your hat weave. This is a finished one that would have come from here because as long as you get those little strands all the way around, you're going to end up with a, a hat that looks like this. Yours might be a little bit longer, a lower brim, a higher brim, just depends on the mannequin that you're using. Now, I'm going to show you how to do a three ponytail up to. Make sure that you have the drop down the manic, the, the ponytail that you had on the back, that you were, you had all of this in a ponytail because you were working on the top of the head. You're going to drop that and you're going to brush it out really well from the bottom all the way to the top. Okay. And then We are going to start by parting from the top of the head. I'm sorry, not the top of the head, the top of the ear, all the way back towards the back of the head, okay, across and all the way to the other top of the ear. So that's how you're going to part the first ponytail. So essentially you have one parting like that and then all the way to the other side of the ear. Okay. Now I'm going to comb this hair and I'm going to comb it with a high ponytail. So you're going to comb it up high. And you're going to fasten that. Again, you should have some little rubber bands in your kit. And there we are. One high ponytail. Now you're going to take a little strand of hair and you're going to wrap it around that rubber band. Make sure you get it nice and wet. Use some of the gel that you had and just wrap it around and kind of glue it down with the gel. I'm going to put that away. Just kind of put that forward. Now you're going to take the next ponytail. The next ponytail is going to go from the bottom of the ear all the way across the back to the other side at the bottom of the ear. You're going to comb that.
a high ponytail. Okay. And what you want to kind of be careful is too, is that whenever you do these high ponytails that you don't find a distinctive part lines, you can see that those kind of blend in. Okay. So you want to make sure that those part lines are blended in and that you don't see three distinctive part lines. I'm going to take another piece of hair here. I'm going to wrap it around this ponytail. Okay, and I'm going to get this ponytail out of the way for a little bit. Oops. Here we are. Now, I'm going to take this and the last third ponytail. So you're going to take that to the high ponytail and bring it up. Up high, take a strand of hair, wrap it around. There you go. Make sure you use some gel. Now I have something called Wave Sit. This is kind of a liquid gel. And I'm gonna start with the bottom ponytail. And I'm gonna start wrapping with my rollers. You should have rollers in your kit. If you don't have rollers in your kit, I'll show you what to do with the curling iron. But with your rollers, you're gonna make sure you have enough gel and we have what we call magnetic rollers right here. And we're gonna start by wrapping. You're gonna put your magnetic roller on the bottom of the strand and then comb it nice and smooth over. And I'm gonna wrap this kind of in a spiral manner. And I'm gonna clip this roller on its base. The base is here at the bottom of the roller closest to the head. Now I'm gonna take another section. The smaller the section, the prettier the curls. Okay. The smaller the section, the prettier the curls. I'm going to take that one there. And maybe I'll put in one more over here. I have a different color. Put another one down the center. And this one. I can pin it right with the other roller like that, okay? But none of the rollers have the clippies here on the front. This is what you don't wanna do. Don't clip them like that because when they dry, you'll have a ridge that you won't be able to take out of that curl. Always pin them behind and on its base. And if you have to put an extra clippy back there, you can, but never on the front, okay? Then you would continue with the next one. Again, make sure it's nice and wet. This lady, I have done her hair probably for the last week. And so she still has some gel in there that when I wet it, it kind of activates and it becomes again, um, feels like gel. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it. And I'm gonna pin it on its base. 
section. Wrap it. And you continue until you're done, okay? So as you can see, it becomes, these rollers kind of become elongated on the style. Now, if you have to do it with a curling iron because you don't have rollers, I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to take a section and you will do this until we get ready to style it. So I would take my curling iron and I would curl this, whoops. Roller that has fallen, pin that there. Okay, this is if you need to use the curling iron. Okay, you're gonna take that curling iron you're gonna make sure that you get all the ends in, inside this clip. I'm gonna wrap it, and then I'm gonna click and turn it, turn the curling iron the opposite direction. Make sure you get that tail end in there, and you pin it, okay? So that's what you would do if you have to curl it with a curling iron. And you leave that intact until we get ready to style them. Okay. We will style these on Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's see. Not next week, but the following week when we come back to school after um, the Thanksgiving break. We're going to style these. So if you're missing what to do, click and turn it the opposite direction with the pin. I'm gonna pin that in, see? So what you wanna do is leave these curls in and then they'll eventually not be hot anymore and when we take them off on Tuesday or the following week on Tuesday, they will be uh, nice and curly for you. So if you are doing a whole style with the curls, this is what it would look like or with the curling iron, except that they're gonna be pinned in, okay? The next uh, YouTube you'll have is the style and that will come after next week because we've not styled these yet. So there you go. I hope you enjoy the hat weave as much as we have enjoyed them. I think it was a great project. And so um, thank you for listening and I hope you can understand what we just did. Thank you and you all have a good day. Bye-bye. Students, so today we are going to work on an updo. So you would have had your rollers in. I took the rollers down and now we're going to dress this and give it an updo of sorts. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna start by taking and not disturbing the curls, but I'm gonna twist and turn the curl and I'm gonna pin the base, okay? I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna twist, make kind of a loop, and I'm gonna pin it. Now this is one technique that I'm gonna show you, and you don't have to do my technique, but I would say try not to disturb your curls so you can keep those in. And I have two different things here. I have a pin, which is a, a bobby pin, that's that has like the little knobbies on there. And when you put this on the hair and you put it, you wanna put attach that 
to the scalp, okay? This is a hairpin. This is kind of a pin to finish off work and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, okay? And so then I'm gonna just continue and I'm gonna show you now a twist and pin technique where you can take your bobby pin and you're gonna put it halfway, okay, through the hair and then I'm gonna pin it on its base there, on the scalp, okay? So I'm just gonna continue doing this throughout the whole entire head and I wanna make sure that we have balance, okay, throughout the whole updo. We're gonna go through here and just pin it. And this is a twist and pin. You put the pin halfway on the strand of the hair. And when I twist it, it's gonna end up on that knobby piece of the hair. I mean, the knobby piece of the, of the pin. And that's what I'm putting at the scalp. Again, I'm gonna do maybe a little knot here. Just take this, twist it, bring it and pin it. And you can see that I'm opening up my pins with my fingernail and I'm not putting this in my mouth. Okay, that's the wrong thing to do when you're doing updos. Now I have these little tail ends here. So I would just take this and twist it and pin it. Now I'm gonna take this pin and you can see that I kind of have an opening up here and I wanna kind of put those two together. So I'm gonna take my pin and just bring that in and kind of meet those two together there. That's just with a, not the um, bobby pin, but just the hair pin. Now I'm gonna take this little piece here And I'm going to twist it and pin it. So I'm going to go here, turn it, twist it, and pin it. Maybe a little loop. So you can do different ones, okay? Maybe I'll just bring that little loop there again. I don't know that I like the little loop there. It's not gonna give me enough curl there to put through there. Okay, and as you can see, we're kind of just putting these curls in place. I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray. I like the freeze and shine spritz because I can move, it spritz it and then I can move it around and still be, it's a workable hairspray, okay? Now I'm gonna take the last of this and I'm gonna show you a little bit of a back combing technique. Let's see where it is. Oh dear. Okay, I have a back combing. Okay. Don't know where it went, so I'll use my rat tail. Here. Ah, here it is. This is a back combing comb. So I'm here, what I'm gonna do is, if you want to add more fullness, you can back comb the top, smooth it out, okay? And then, I'm 
I'm going to pin it in. Okay, so you can just, and there you go. There is our finished updo. You're ready for this?